Hey everyone, I'm Philip. I'm Wesley. I'm Ted, and we're Wong Fu Productions. Ten years ago, we met in college and started making videos and shared them online. Yep, and ever since then, we've continued to create stories through dramatic short films, comedic sketches, music videos, video blogs, all on YouTube. And you know, through it all, we've had an amazing uh, fan base of supporters that joined us through our progression. It's been an amazing few years, and we couldn't have done it without you. But now it's time to try something new for you, the fans, and for us as artists. It's time for us to make our very first movie. Yep, we've been uh, talking about it for many years actually, and uh, we've also seen your guys' comments too, and the time has finally arrived. Okay, technically we did make a movie eight years ago, but we were still in school and we didn't really know what we were doing yet. But this time, it's, it's for real. It's for real. What if you had a relationship record, like a driving record? Instead of registering your car, you have to register your relationship. In our world, all this is managed by the Department of Emotional Integrity. Imagine if you were given a score based on all your past relationship history. Kind of like a credit score, but for relationships instead of that financial stuff. And what if the score actually was public and affected parts of your daily life? What do you think your score was? <laughs> What's the scale? One to ten. <laughs> oh, a ten. For sure. Probably up there, like an eight or a nine. Probably say a good... A good six. I'd have to say an eight. I'm a strong eight. I would say like an eight, nine. I'll give myself a six. Eight point eight two. Seven? No, maybe eight, eight. Yeah, let's go, let's go below one. Our movie follows two couples in this world. First, there's Seth and Haley, who are two high schoolers that are registering for the first time. And then there's Ben and Sarah, a former couple in their mid-twenties who are brought back together to settle an old score. Through these two stories, we're going to explore how love changes over time and how to believe in your heart again after it's been hurt. As with anything Wong Fu makes, you can expect some good laughs, some emotional drama, and some relatable themes. So why are we using Indiegogo for this project when we already make so many videos? Well, one obvious thing is that making a movie costs a lot more than making a regular YouTube video. Yep. And uh, you know, we also could have gone to a studio or a big production company, but in that case, you know, yeah, we could have gotten a lot more money or more funding, but we would have had to compromise and sacrifice a lot of things about the story, or maybe even the casting. But most importantly, this campaign is to let the fans and supporters around the world be a part of this huge milestone. Whether you've seen all of our videos or just stumbled across our work today, we hope something we've created on our channel has impacted your life in some way, big or small. Now we're asking for your help. Any donation would be awesome. Yeah, like just a dollar would be great. We've got a lot of fun things for anyone that wants to be part of this project and we hope it's you. Thank you guys so much. We cannot wait to start this journey. This movie is going to be cool. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, we, we wouldn't even be here without you guys. So let's continue the progression and journey of Wong Fu Productions with this film. And we'll see you guys later. And sorry, we don't have a name for the movie yet. Uh, we're still deciding. We know it's very important. Sort uh, of. Sort of. So yeah. right now, it's untitled, but it's just the Wong Fu movie for now. Yeah. Tell all your friends. Spread the word. Wong Fu's first movie. Woohoo! Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, I don't really care. Like, really what's important to me is like, how do you look? I would date sixes and up. Let's not take that out of contest. That's for the relationship score. Looks is eight and up. I mean, I would like a 10. <laughs> Even if I'm not a 10. <laughs> I have really high standards for myself, so I don't think I would go any lower than a seven. I know what I want too, so that makes it easier. Two and a half. They're probably the ones that need the most love. <laughs> probably the two and a halfs are the most interesting ones. Look for eight to, eight to ten. Probably no lower than like a like a five. That's an F because I'm a D. I can't be too picky. I I could give uh, fellow sixes a chance. I don't think I'd I'd go lower than a six though because I've I've done some shit, you know. <laughs>